everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching Season 2, Episode 9 of Life Unexpected. If you want access to the Uncar reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. So last episode was a bit of a yikes, in my opinion. There was a lot of uh, things I didn't like about it, rather than I did like, which is not usually the case for this show. Um, oh. Hello. Lux and Eric's story was very prominent, which may have helped my dislike for the episode bit. They decided to go on a date somewhere in a different town so that they wouldn't be recognised and they could just be themselves or not be themselves because they had like alter egos when they crashed a wedding reception. They had trouble getting back because they missed the last ferry and so they had to use Tash's new credit card that Kate had just given her to book a hotel room. Kate got notified about it and she confronted Tash about it and they said oh we'll drive down there and get answers then and so Tash took the blame and now her credit card privileges have been revoked and she's been grounded and I think it's just very unfair. Obviously Tash makes her own decisions and she chose to take the blame for it then but I definitely wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Lux said at the end to Eric they met up in Tash's place which is such a weird setup but she said this is all worth it to me. Landing your friend in that much shit makes this worth it, really? Ryan and Bays and the lads went on a night out and Kate went on a night out with Paige as well. Kate got really drunk and she started dancing on the bar and stripping and stuff and then her and Ryan had a big blowout in the car park where he said that he never got over Julia and then Kate was like oh so you were just using me and stuff like that which no <laughs> no <laughs> he obviously did love you as well but he just never got over Julia just like she never got over Baze then they decided to take a break and now Ryan's moved in with Baze which is the funniest thing ever by the way <laughs> I can't believe that is where we're at now Ryan and Baze living together I think this is definitely needed because this can give them space to evaluate their feelings for each other and whether they want to move forward and stuff and we also found out that Emma has a son who she has kept a secret which I don't really understand why she kept him a secret because she was kind of pretending like he didn't exist when they'd sent him off to boarding school somewhere and like that's probably why he's such a rebellious guy because his parents don't really seem like they care about him that much. I thought that was a bit strange too but maybe we'll get more answers to that about her dynamic with her son. But her and Baze ended on good terms and they both said that they really like each other and it looks like they're in a proper relationship now. So I'm happy for them in that aspect. You still managed to not get laid. Stop talking about my sex life. Yeah, well stop talking about my marriage. What marriage? Yikes. <laughs> There's tension between them now. How's Baze's? Aside from the fact that the place smells like burnt beer, fine. Ryan is looking a little unkept. He's got some stubble. And you wanted space, so... Yeah, well, you said you married me because your ex-girlfriend didn't want to marry you. Okay, Kate, you're oversimplifying what I said. I hate when you do yeah, that. Yeah, that is not the same thing. Look, at least I tried to give an honest answer. Because of your island vacation with Eric, I don't get to go to homecoming with Jones. Oh. He asked me. But Kate won't let me go because I'm grounded. No! Oh my god! Lux, now you have to confess. My freaking Tush and Jones ship is real. I will convince her. Come on. Okay, I want to make it up to you. There's a condition called dysgraphia. It's an inability to express thoughts in writing. Mr. Daniels noticed that her handwriting was perfect till seventh grade. Well, I mean, the question is what changed? He could give her an MRI tomorrow. An MRI? You can't say the teachers at Westmont don't care. What the hell? I didn't know that's how they diagnosed intellectual disabilities. Is this going to be something to do with when she lived with Valerie then? You go get that MRI tomorrow. And tomorrow night, I'll make you a homecoming of our own. Complete with spike punch, bad music, the whole nine yards. <laughs> so you're going to give her alcohol now? She's afraid if I stay home, I'll burn the place down. Mm, it's a valid concern. Mm. Based on your track actually. record? I was just barking. Her body was nuts. Hey, I tried signing her, but she's a bitch billionaire. It's a thing against women. So. Well, there we go. Get the base charm on her. It works every you know. time. There's gonna be doctor bills and specialist people, and I don't want to be the deadbeat dad who can't pay for any of it. So if I help land this client, maybe I could share the bonus with you. Fine. Fine. There we go. The base charm. It worked on her. See there? That tiny spot? It's evidence that at some point that small part of the brain lost blood flow. You suffered a stroke. 
What? Kids don't have strokes. Grandparents have strokes. She had a stroke? I never knew. Do you recall any injuries? No, no, nothing. Where were you living then? Um, with Valerie. Uh, nothing happened. Just take a second and think. I don't remember. Anything. I'm really invested in this Valerie thing. That's really scary, Lux. Okay, all right. Let's focus on homecoming. <laughs> Kate finds out I'm gonna lose my apartment. You know that, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna go to the dance with you and Jones and then I will be back before they hand out the plastic tiaras. Sunnyvale only keeps records from when you actually live there. Wait, I, I thought you were living at Sunnyvale then. I was. Sorry, I was thinking about me. Tash, I think you need to stop covering for her and everything. For Lux's sake, if you know something, I can give you the address of someone who might. You have a date for homecoming. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, okay. She told me that you were going alone. Well, I don't have to. At least it's someone your own age. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about because Lux is a super responsible kid. Okay? Faze, what Lux do you know? Mind if I peruse your mama's medicine cabinet? Let's not. Oh, anybody? Uh, no, I don't do drugs, man. Oh, we wow. stand. I didn't think you could possibly be even lamer than you look. Congrats. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. I used to have a piano. It burned up when my bar burned down. Oh, she's checking I, him so out. I don't have one anymore. Eyes, eyes, baby. <laughs> what? Eyes, eyes, baby. I have never heard a piano rendition of this song. I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. What, are you stalking me now? What's with all the secret of phone calls? Mm. Minnesota, what does that mean? The whole state calling you? Hmm. Who's that? Your boyfriend? No one. Yeah, yeah, can I just call you later? Okay, all right, bye. So that's why you're pissed off, huh? Screw you, and your stupid joint. Luck? Oh. Busted. And Lux Cassidy's mom. You know, she didn't want to talk about it, which made me worry even more. Did Lux tell you that Tasha was living here recently? That the two of them graffitied my house? Why are you distracting from the situation? My husband and I wanted Lux just as much as we wanted Tasha. More. She was like a daughter to me. She asked if there was any trauma. Say yes or no. I would have signed with Fenmore a while ago if her skinny ass hadn't kept trying to shove it down my throat. You will also be signing with me. And I can assure you, I don't hate women. Oh, the flirting strats. <laughs> yeah, I don't think okay. Emma was expecting him That's to go it. this far. We're leaving. Uh, well, okay. Pouring yourself out really is a great way to parent. <laughs> It's better than shipping your kid off to a boarding school because you clearly don't know how to deal with him. Oh, wow. You know what? I would spend a little more time getting to know my kid before you start giving me advice on mine. Mm. I feel like it's not the fact that it was for business that she's bothered about, though. I think she's just jealous. But he had valid points about her parenting skills. Because as favorite. I say, <laughs> the way she treats her son isn't great. The one who was violent was Lux. What? The harder I tried to connect to her, and while she lashed out at me, she hit my husband. Oh. She hurt him badly. As she told lie upon lie. It sounds like she still does. Who is this? I think her husband abused her. I don't think Lux would act out like that over nothing. Why did Valerie tell you that you pushed them away? She, she wanted you. She loved you, Lux. And you believed her? I am just saying that I don't know what to believe. Because every time I turn around, you are lying to me. It seems like you've already got the truth from Valerie. <sighs> they definitely mistreated her. It's not easy to open up about trauma. I feel like we're in a John Hughes film they in a won. very, very good way. You look cute on Tiara. She told Kate that I was the one who hurt them, which... It's total crap, okay? They hurt me. Valerie knows exactly what happened. Lux, wait. Get out of the car. What? No. <laughs> Get out of the damn car. 
I'm not getting another car until your mom takes me home. Whoa, you don't, you don't have a Oh no. No. Oh Jesus, shut the door. Fucks. I'm the violent one. Whack her in the face. That's what you told Kate? Fucks. Yeah, I hit your stupid ass husband, but what about what he did to me? I didn't just push myself down a flight of stairs. I didn't just punch myself in Oh my god. Get the hell off my property. Hey, stop it. Stop oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Piece of shit. Oh. What just happened? What horrible human beings. And also, I hate the fact that they chain their dogs up like that. He was moving, right? I know he was moving. He was fine. Right. He wouldn't let you go. He oh, looks traumatized. You. Oh, what did they call the cops? What's what did you get sent back to Or is it just because he's high? We'll let you out of the car. Just stop. Just oh, Lord. Stop, stop not looking. What is going on? Oh my god, this episode took such a U-turn. No one can know what happened tonight. You might want to get him in on that promise. <laughs> this isn't my Lux. I don't know. I you mean, know it is. I just feel like there is a lot of powder that we don't know, Maze. Lux hasn't always been the most responsible kid. I don't know what they're all about. <laughs> but right now, she clearly has some issues. Here's what's going on. You can't figure out why everything is so screwed up with you and Ryan, so you're putting all your neurotic, psychotic attention on me, and, and I don't want it. I was already like this when, when you got me that, that, that this isn't your fault. Lux didn't steal the car. I, I did. Oh, he's taking the blame. And I'm sorry I crashed your car, but you can lay off Lux, all right? Aww, I'm sure my mom that's nice. Proud. The only screw up here is me. Lux, you know some nice people. I just, I didn't think that I could take care of her. And I knew that I couldn't rely on Bays, so I relied on you. You are the one that she called last night. She didn't call me or Bays. You know, yeah, that I like something. that, because he we says how need you. I mean, I need he wants you. to be the guy who gets called to go to parents' evening well, and all that stuff. And she called him first. I don't want that to be the reason that you and I stay married. That's also understandable. I was jealous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mean candy? No, that was just incredibly annoying. <laughs> I'm jealous of how easy everything seems for you. I don't know how to make my kid like me. I know there's some good in there. And Sam. <laughs> Seriously, I will give you all of Candy's signing bonus if you could just help me find it. There is clearly some good in her song because he just took the rap for Lux. That was really nice. Um, oh wait, wow, what are you doing here? does he go here? Mom enrolled me, unfortunately. That's good, I quite like him. So you're from uh, Wisconsin? There's <gasps> a boarding school there. Minnesota, we're practically neighbors. Yes, huh. I knew it! Minnesota. I was gonna say, I bet he figures out that she's dating him. I think I'm gonna like it here. I think I'm gonna end up stunning him. <laughs> Someone else knows! Yes! I wonder if he'll spill the beans. He'll probably hold it over her though. This episode was very drama heavy in terms of Lux. Like, wow, that five minutes when they went to Valerie's house and in the car and everything was just, whoa. It's really sad hearing what she went through and I can't believe Valerie just lied to Kate like that. What a horrible person. But seriously, how bad is the social care system that they didn't realise Lux was getting abused? She said that he'd pushed her down the stairs. She said she didn't punch herself in the face because seriously, who would believe that if she went to the hospital or something or she got social care visits? Like, did they actually fall for that? How did they not pick up that? And now they are continuing to foster children. That is such a big oversight on their part. I really hope she feels like she can tell Kate or Bays or Ryan or anyone next episode, not Eric, but anyone in her family, what she went through because she really can't be suffering like this alone and that is the reason that she had a stroke. It caused her neurological damage that's gonna last her life, so it was clearly a very traumatic time and she needs to open up about it. Yeah, I really hope she tells someone soon. That's such a horrible thing to have had to go through and I can't believe it. I thought 
I thought Valerie was nice based on what we saw from the letter in episode 4 and how she was nearly adopted. Boy was I wrong, she's covering for her abusive husband. I wonder if he dies, oh my god. If Tash just killed him that would be awful. I mean it would be good for the world and for the future children that they foster but that would be terrible because it means that Tash could, you know, go to jail. Hopefully he's alive and then in the future Lux can come forward about her abuse and he'll go to jail. That would be the best case scenario. Ryan and Kate have both figured out why they wanted to marry each other. Kate's reason isn't enough for Ryan because yes he loves Lux and I like that he said he'll always be there for her because if they do break up I do want Ryan to still be in Lux's life because I think he's a really good father figure for her so I'm glad that he will stay in her life even if they break up. So Kate needs to try and prove that she wants to be with Ryan because she loves him and because of her feelings for him not just because of the other people in her life and Ryan also the same he needs to realize if he truly loves Kate or if she was just a uh, rebound from Julia. I still think there is some unfinished business there with them. Considering after how long it had been since they broke up, the second him and Kate went on a break, he instantly went to Julia, so he was clearly still thinking about her, so he needs to resolve his feelings there as well. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching my reaction to Season 2, Episode 9 of Life Unexpected. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't feel any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.